Ms. Kelly Cruz, Miss Gay, Arkansas. Oh, we met. Is this, okay, there we go. We match. Okay, well, I think we got our. We went shopping at the same store, Kmart. No, Walmart in Arkansas, right? Yes. Yeah, so. You having a good time, Kelly? Very good time. Good. Okay, what we want you to do for us, Kelly, is to give a brief bio for yourself of yourself, so the judges can get to know a little more about you and the audience as well. And then after that, we want you to draw a question and we'll have you answer it. Thank you, Valerie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished judges. I am contestant number 32, Kelly Cruz. My given name is Spencer Charles May. I was born on April 12, 1969 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana to two very loving parents, and I'm very honored to have my father in the audience this evening. At the age of 10, my mother's remarriage brought me to Little Rock, Arkansas, where I attended school and became a graduate of Catholic High School for Boys. I went on to attend the University of Central Arkansas for one year, pursuing a degree in interior design. And I, for the past five years, I have been employed as an associate production manager at one of the South's leading advertising firms. My hobbies include music, swimming, traveling, and female impersonation. I got my first taste of female impersonation on Halloween night, as many young men do, and I feel that female impersonation is a very hard and challenging career but a very rewarding career, and I feel that I have progressed into what you see standing on stage this evening. My goals in life are to achieve and exceed any goals that I ever set for myself, and to represent you, the people, as your next Miss Gay America. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kelly. Now here comes the fun part. We have 10 questions, all of them different. I want you to draw a question, Open it, read it to yourself. I'll, you give it to me and I'll read it to you twice and then you give us your answer, okay? Y'all don't know how hard this is with these nails on, okay? <laughs> Thank God they already opened them for us. That doesn't make the I thank God I don't wear glasses. My God. Okay, Kelly, your question is, who do you most admire and why? Once again, who do you most admire and why? I'd have to say the person that I most admire is my father. Many young men don't have the opportunity to have a relationship with their father as I do being a young gay man. And my father came out to me first to tell me that he was gay and that gave me the, the courage to come out to him and tell him that I'm gay and to be proud of it and we both are. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gay Arkansas, put your hands together for Miss Kelly Cruz. Please welcome to the stage for their on-stage interview, contestant number, <laughs> contestant number 46, Miss Whitney Page. Well, we're just, everybody's just a matching tonight. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, pretty good. You having a good time? Wonderful time. You look wonderful. You. Okay, what we want you to do, Whitney, is to give a brief biography of yourself so the audience can get to know a little more about you and the judges can too. And then we have a question for you, okay? Oh, my. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished judges. My given name is Daryl Kendrick. My stage name is Whitney Page. I'm your currently reigning Miss Gay Texas, but I'm going to tell you a few things about myself, just a few. I was born in Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm the only child. I put my education on hold after I was studying voice and a music and theater major. I came to Dallas where I started my career in female impersonation. Here I am and here I'm going to stay for a while. Thank you. Okay. Oh, now nails and gloves. I'm in big trouble. Do you think I can bend up?
Thank you, Eddie. Vicky's coming out here real soon to do this, okay? Okay, just can you... Okay, go ahead and open it up. <laughs> read the question, and then I'll read it back to you twice, and you can give us an answer. Okay, Whitney's question is, how did you prepare for this week of competition? Once again, how did you prepare for this week of competition? It's very simple. It's called focus. I got my act together, I got myself together, and I'm focused on what I want, and this is what I want, and that's what I did to compare for this. Ladies and gentlemen, your current running Miss Gay, Texas, from Dallas, Texas, Miss Whitney Page. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is on to another onstage interview. We're going to try this again one more time and try not to bump heads. This next contestant is number 50, Miss Tamara Mahorning, Miss Gay, Missouri. Well, don't you look pretty? How you doing? Have a good time? Oh, tremendous time. Okay, we want you to take a deep breath, relax, give us a brief biography of yourself, and then we want you to draw a question, and you can answer that for us, okay? Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tamar Mahorning, and I'm contestant number 50, and I'm the reigning Miss Gay Missouri for 1992. At such a young age, I attended and went and lived in St. Louis, Missouri, attended grade school, high school, and then went on to receive a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in the area of technical theater that has an emphasis on costuming and directing. I also have a Bachelor of Arts degree in the area of telecommunications and speech pathology diction. And at such a young age, my parents introduced me to something that was very magical, and it was called theater. It was called the fine arts, something that I can create and mold and make live. And through my years of grade school, high school, and college, I went on to, and to be able to create something more magical, and that was a character. And seven years ago, I created that character just as a hobby, just something that was a lot of fun to do. But you see, there were a couple people that influenced me a great deal in my life, and I looked up to those people, and they showed me how to create this hobby into a business for myself. And will I perform for you on any given stage at any given time as a male actor who is creating the role of Tamara Mahorning? Like so many of you people in this room, I also, as an individual, hold a very, very special dream and goal in my life. My goal is that I might be very successful in everything that I could possibly be or do within my life and with my lover. My dream is that I might be able to be your Miss America for 1993, that I can be able to carry on the symbol of excellence that the former Miss Americas also have done, but not only that, but be able to be an administrator, to be able to bring a little bit of my personality to all of you, to take a little bit of your personality from your state and bring it back to St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, that's wonderful. Okay, now. This has been a challenge so far, so we'll see how you do. Pick a question. Are they all open? Yeah, they're open. Sorry. Okay, you go ahead and open it up and read it. Just pull it out. I guess we should go over this a little more in rehearsals, shall we? Okay, I want to read it to you, back to you twice. Oh, you got a long one. As Miss Gay America, you... Y'all are so bad. I'm not allowed to say stuff like that up here. As Miss Gay America, you may be requested to speak to a junior high school class on safe sex. What would you tell them? Let me repeat it one more time. As Miss Gay America, you may be required to speak to a junior high school class on safe sex. What would you tell them? Well, first off, this is a very important subject to any kind of high school, grade school, or even on a college level. As a speech pathology diction teacher within the junior high, the one thing that I like to bring to my children is to be able to tell them to control your thoughts, to ordain your destiny, and to speak of your emotions. And what I mean for this is, within the question, is to tell them, children, to think twice about what they are going to do with their life. 
because tomorrow you never know where your life is going to be. I ran into a little girl one time when I was doing a safe sex um, course within my degree program as in my thesis, and I explained to her, tomorrow you may never know where you're going to be. She was diagnosed as having a very rare blood disease, and I told her that tomorrow you may not be here, but today you have to re realize and think about what you're going to be. Safe sex is something that we must teach our children, but it begins with one thing, ladies and gentlemen, and I leave you with this thought. It begins with education. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gay, Missouri, Tamara Mahorny. Please welcome to the stage for her onstage interview. Put your hands together for contestant number 56, Miss Brooke Carrington. All right, bro. Oh, good. Somebody's hollering to me. Hey, how you doing? Doing wonderful. Having a good time? I'm having a great time. Well, good. That's what we're that's what we're here for. Okay. Sounds like you got some fans out there. Okay. Well, with Brooke, what we want you to do is give a brief biography of yourself, and then we got a lovely little question we want to ask you. Okay. Thank you very much, Valerie. Good evening, Dallas. I know you were louder than that earlier. <laughs> I'm, I wanted to say a few things about myself. This is my moment to give you a little insight into who Brooke Carrington and Jim Huntley is. First off, I am contestant number 56, Brooke Carrington. My given name is Jim Huntley. I was born in a small town in Kansas 29 years ago under the sign of Libra. I want to say a few things about how I grew up, my, my family was filled with commitment, love, understanding, and joy. Joy being the greatest of these, for that is my mother's name. And she is here this evening. She flew in from Kansas City, broken knee and all. Hi, Mom. I'm ecstatic that she's here. And it makes me feel extremely, extremely blessed and wonderful. Thanks again. I currently make my home in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, where I... Hi, Oklahoma, where I'm employed in the food service industry. I am certified in the field of computer programming, and I am a professional female impersonator. I've been in the art of female impersonation for nine years. It was on a dare the first time I walked in pumps and wore a wig. And with my interest in acting and dancing, I have created this illusion for you, Brooke Carrington. I'm a regular cast member at Angles in Oklahoma City and have been for the past seven years. And I'm very proud to say I have my own successful show on Wednesday nights, Brooke Carrington and Friends. If you're ever in Oklahoma, please look me up. I'd love to have you there. I set some goals for myself in the art of female impersonation, and I've accomplished a lot of those goals. But tonight I'm standing here to fulfill the greatest goal of all, and that is my dream to be your next Miss Gay America 1993. Before I close, I'd just like to leave you with a thought. Look at the person sitting next to you. And though you may not like who they are, <laughs> though you may not like how they dress, and though you may not like who they love, you must always remember we have one thing in common. We are all human beings. Thank you. OK, Brooke, thank you very much. Let's scoot on back here to the middle. Now, I'm standing next to you, okay? Now, watch what you say. <laughs> okay, pick a question. Okay, go ahead and read it, and then once you've read it, give it to me, and I'll read it back to you twice, and then you'll answer it. Oh, you got a long one, too. Okay. As Miss Gay America, you would have the chance to meet many contestants who might get irate because they did not win a particular pageant. That never happens. How would you handle them? Let me repeat it one more time. As Miss Gay America, you would have the chance to meet many contestants who might get irate because they did not win a particular pageant. How would you handle them? 
Well, first off, I hope they wouldn't have their fists up. <laughs> I would handle them as all the Miss Gay Americas has handled their self in the past, and that is with professionalism, a positive attitude, and always with the utmost respect, for they are an individual, as I said a moment ago, they're a human being just like myself. We would work it out with professionalism. And as Miss Gay America, I would hope that I would, I would, excuse me, I hope that I would give the symbol of excellence a new meaning. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 56, first alternate to Miss Gay, Midwest, Miss Brooke Carrington. Let's hear it for her. Thank you, Brooke. Okay, and that is none other than contestant number 57, Coco. <laughs> Hold on, gal. How you doing? You look, my feet hurt too, so <laughs> we feel the same. Um, what we want you to do, Coco, is give a brief biography of yourself so the audience can get to learn a little more about you, and then we have a question we want to ask you. So Take it away. Sure. My given name is Arthur Caceres. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. I went to the high school for the performing and visual arts. At that time, at the age of 16, I started female impersonation and by my surprise, <laughs> won my first preliminary to Miss Gay America. I've had a wonderful career ever since. I've had the opportunities to be on PM Magazine, Cube Cable Television, and travel extensively throughout the country. I, I'm now living here in Dallas, Texas, where I'm currently working with young gay lesbian adults, and I have my own shows at the Villa Station, The Wave, and, and sometimes working at Sue Ellen's. My longtime goal is to have my own illusion show, and my future goal is to be your next Miss Gay America. Thank you, Coco. Getting much easier, they're getting smaller, so I have to spread them out as well. Okay, pick a question. And then go ahead and read it, and then I'll repeat it back to you twice, and then you can give us an answer. You get so quiet. Hers is short. <laughs> well, look at her. She's short. She's the only one I've had to. Okay. Coco's question is. You're requested to, to speak before the gay activist. Uh, you, I never had to do this, so. Uh, you were requested to speak before the gay activist act up on the role of female impersonators in our gay community. What would you say? Let me repeat it one more time. You're requested to speak before the gay activists act up on the role of female impersonators in our gay community. community. What would you say? Well, I would speak to the ACT UP group on discrimination because I feel there's a lot of discrimination in our gay community amongst ourselves. And I feel, I feel that it's time for us to look at each other and to start loving one another and become a unit as one and not cut each other, uh, each other down just because I wear a dress or this person's black, or this person's Spanish. I think we should all love one another and hold on tight because we have enough problems out there with the heterosexuals coming against us. So I think we should all stand as one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 57, first alternate to Miss Gay Southwest, Coco! Thank you, Coco.